Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corian, and we're inside the Sabre 38 RDP. This fifth wheel comes in at 42 feet, 5 inches, and a 12,000 pound dry weight. The big eye-catching feature in this floor plan is going to be your big dual opposing slides here. They're full height slides, so I'm 6 foot and I can fit in it without worrying about bumping my head. And you have the nice trifold sofa here as well that'll come out into about a queen size bed and you have another one and the other opposing slide. So you're gonna be able to sleep a lot of people over here and they're away from the master bedroom so you won't be able to hear each other too much. On the other side of this wall is a Cinemax seating. It has heat, massage, and blue LED lighting. And you'll see that we have some USB ports for charging your phones there. There's a lot of USB ports in this trailer that you can keep an eye out for as we go along. In the back here, USB ports on both sides like I was talking about, also have 110, a ton of storage around the entertainment center, a nice big window in the back that I've got closed up right now and the TV is out from the console, it goes back inside there and tucks away for when you don't want it in more of a conversational area. You also have the fireplace, it's a 5000 BTU fireplace that will heat this whole coach really nice, you don't have to burn through all your LP if you're already paying for electricity. You also have ducted heat. You're not going to find any ducts on our floors, so when you're sweeping up your floors, you're not getting a bunch of stuff in your ducts. They're all lifted away from the floor. You don't have to worry about them. Over here, we're going to stop for a second and take a look at our new blinds. So this blind is called the Zebra Shade. Right now, it's in blackout mode. I raise it a little bit. Now you can see it lets a little light in. And you can really adjust that and play with that to let in just the right amount of light for whatever situation you're in. On the other side of the sofa wall, you're gonna have a nice breakfast bar, I like to call it. You can put a lot of stuff here, feed the whole clan. If you want to, you can maybe put some crock pots, you know, your coffee maker sits over here, or maybe just keep it clear so you have a nice unobstructed view from the kitchen so you can watch TV. And you have a lot of storage underneath as well with all our real wood cabinetry that's built in house here. All the countertops are solid surface and nice premium material. If you were cutting on it, you wouldn't have to worry about damaging or nicking your countertop. You have the four person dinette over here. You've got plenty of room with the freestanding chairs to put four people in here, maybe an extra on the end. On the other side of the kitchen here, you're gonna have a pantry. What's nice about this pantry is the shelves are actually removable. So if you have any taller items, like brooms, maybe a vacuum, you can store it in there. It has some extra flexibility. And then you get a little bit of extra bonus real estate over here with this solid surface countertop that you can use. Maybe your coffee maker goes over here if you don't want it on the breakfast bar, but extra countertop space is always a welcome thing in a fifth wheel. Over here is our 14.7 cubic foot colossal refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator that runs off 110. It's a nice deep wide fridge like you would find at home with the double doors. You have a pull out up top, I'll put some of the lighter stuff in here. And a big meat chest down below so you can put some heavier items down there. Another thing you're going to notice is all the black residential stainless steel appliances we went to. You've got the high rise faucet with the detachable head. It's unobstructed in here, you're going to be able to put some big pans in there. and not be limited by what you can put in your sink and wash. You have their gas top range over here. You got three heads lit. Also have an oven and a nice space down here to put some pots and pans. As well as some extra storage over here. Three ball bearing drawers over here. Made of real wood, plywood we use on all of our cabinet drawers. So there's a lot of countertop space and drawers and storage all throughout this fifth wheel. Extra pantry over here, put some of your extra food items, cereals. And now we'll go up to the front to take a look at the control panels and the bathroom. So up before we get to the bathroom here, you're going to have our new Lipper LCI-1 control. So this is going to control your auto leveling that also has hitch height memory your slides, your awning, all your lights, everything that you need to access, you can access from this panel, as well as your smartphone. You also have the thermostat for your air conditioner. We use 15K ACs on all of our Sabres, and if it has two, that one will be a 15K as well, giving you 30,000 BTUs of AC. You also have your tank monitoring system, so you can do your grays, your blacks, and your fresh. Voltage meter, 
This is an item that comes with our juice pack that also is equipped with a 50 watt solar panel up top and a battery. So this is giving you an idea of how much charge you have. Make sure that your saver is equipped with this if you're getting it at the lot because it's not a standard feature. It's something a dealer has to add. The inverter switch is also on the walls as well as a couple physical light switches. Now we'll go up to the bathroom. Here inside the bathroom with the Sabre 38 RDP, you can see the head height is not an issue in here with the help of the skylight that will let in some natural light as well. There's also a seat in here, porcelain toilet, a lot of linen storage and toiletries. Up in the front of the bathroom, you're gonna have a nice big sink. So an extra countertop space for your toothbrushes, hairbrushes, medicine cabinet for some extra storage, as well as some extra storage down below the sink. Up front, you're gonna have a huge king bed with this bed slide that really opens it up in here, gives you some space in your master. You got a backer for a TV, so you can mount a TV above your wardrobe here. You also have the second AC that's up here, that's another 15K AC. Pleated shades, you can get a nice cross breeze up front in there on the master. We use these barn style doors to access your front storage. So you've got a nice area in there, a bar running across the top to hang clothing if you'd like. There's a dryer vent cut out over there if you would like to have a dryer installed over there. But we also have your water hookups and some power ran here. So if you want to do a front facing combo unit, you could, or you can have a washer facing inward as well as that dryer. If you want both, you don't want a combo unit. So you have some flexibility up front in that aspect. And that is the Saber 38 RDP. If you'd like to learn more, you can always visit our website or contact some of our dealers that happen to carry the Saber product. Thank you.